so it's gone six o'clock it's coming up to seven i think see the sign up here the ntn 256 kilometers south and land Prabang 128 kilometers to the north i thought land Prabang was further away than that yeah but i'm going that way today to van vieng which is about 112 kilometers and then after that i'll be heading to the ntn not very busy, just a few kids off to school. I don't think I can get a coffee anywhere here. <laughs> Might be wrong. Yeah, this is the local market. I remember it being bigger than this. Might be somewhere to eat here. Yeah. Might get some local food. Like lots of food. Yeah. So I'm having a sping of pig's liver. And I'm going to use it the um, sticky rice that guy gave me last night. Way too much. That's a grilled fat. <laughs> well, the woman here yesterday really helpful I just went to ask for some hot water because I bought a sachet of coffee and she apologized and said actually we'd normally give you free coffee I just forgot to put it out this morning and then you turn this heating device on and you instantly get a hot coffee in a big mug and last yesterday when I arrived she also ran out to give me a drinking glass once she was back she wasn't here when I got here and then um, I was sat upstairs last night and as soon as she realised I was sat upstairs she came up and cleaned the table I was sat at just really and smiling and friendly so I'd recommend staying here no Ali uh, guest house only thing is you've got a squat toilet to deal with but I slept like a baby last night so I've got a breakfast feast I've got freshly grilled liver I don't know what that is looks a bit like a meatball I think that might be fish or pork and that's my sticky rice from last night I'm going to use a bit of that up thought I'd take advantage of my view <coughs> and there's not really anywhere great to eat in town for breakfast have some noodles or whatever. I'd rather just get this beautiful barbecue. It was only that was ten thousand, about ninety p. Ninety p for those two. Bargain. <clears throat> I'm just looking at the map for the next leg of my Thailand journey and the second loop that I'm going to do, starting in Chantaburi, going up the three one seven to Sakaya. I've been partly up here to Pongam Rong when I went to Cambodia. This road is really nice. It's in mountains, um, not touristed at all. And then I'm going to go that way and follow the border with Cambodia. Three mountains again up to um, up to. Yeah, up to Buriram on the 348. And then I'm going to go to Surin Susaket, Ubon Ratchatani, Yasatun Royet, Mahasadakam, Kalasin, Konklan, Nakon Ratchasima, and then back on the 304, which comes down here. So the road I'm going up on is that and the 304 comes down here, goes around, there's a whole range of mountains in here, goes around there and cut across back to Chantaburi. It's a whole area that I've not explored before, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> right, just gone 8 o'clock, I'm packed up and ready to go, the owner's not even here, so just got a key in the door. <coughs> Guy next door said that'll be alright. 
think that's an instrument. I saw a guy playing a pipe at the side of the road yesterday. Right, should be in Fangyang by about midday. Gotta get some gas. be almost the highest I've been on the whole trip here. There's one huge mountain, it's a bit covered at the moment. I remember doing this on the bus. I remember going past that thing and just couldn't get a view of it. I wanted to stop the bus but obviously you can't stop a bus to get some pictures um, but today when I get closer you should be able to get some good shots of that. God it's huge. How about that for a sign? We're about six kilometers, seven kilometers from where I spent the night pukuing. There's a new resort here, so again, with fabulous views. I'm going to go and get the view from the back of their car park in a minute. But you could stay here. Again, you're just isolated. But, um, it's loads and loads of places to stay. So pukuing, oh, okay, nine kilometers. That's where I've just come from. Lampra Bang, also that way. It's about 100, 149. Shinkang. Is that Ponsavan? Oh no, I guess so. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, what a view. <laughs> that mountain there is the one I can't wait to get to. That's on the way to where we're going. There's more Cass Mountains there. That's back to where we came from. I think that's a restaurant up there. Bloody hell, what a view you get from there. You can stay in these little houses at the back there. Jesus. Stunning. Just going to the village overshadowed by King Kong. This is welcome to the MTM province. Hello! Right. Xinjiao! I'm about 30 kilometers from Van Vieng and I was wondering when I was going to see the first sign of this high-speed train they're building and this is it there's a tunnel going there it's going to shoot across this valley and out that way to Van Vieng but Laos is one of the most mountainous countries in the world so to build this bullet train basically they're having to build hundreds of tunnels through mountains and then they're going to have to build like pillars across 
and the thing is a lot of progress has been made on this side so China's there and it comes through Laos and then it's meant to go down through Thailand Malaysia to Singapore only thing is the Thais aren't very happy about it and they're brilliant at stalling so the Thais have basically done nothing they've built like three kilometers of um, what do you call it like a show track in Korat and that's it so they're going to the Chinese must be so frustrated because they're going to finish this quite quickly I think someone told me it's like the next three years this track's going to be complete and the Thai one basically hasn't even started yet <laughs> but why on earth they need a bullet train I could understand the cargo train but a bullet train I just don't get it Yeah, so this is the high speed railway line coming from China into Laos. It's going to be Ambiang and Vientiane. And it's meant to go to Thailand. <laughs> and the Thais have not even started yet. So you might be waiting a while. But they reckon this will be finished in about, I think, three years or something. Not long at all. <laughs> and then they'll abruptly get to the Thai border and things will stop. Because it will take Thailand years and years and years to do their bit. Almost there, 15 kilometers to go. Um, that's the river that goes through Bangbing. Bangbing, yes. Uh, sits on this river. Very nice. Just give my ass a rest for the turn. Oh. Bike's been well behaved today. Hot. Well, Emma. Do you remember this hotel? Do you remember this hotel? I am in Van Vieng. And I have got the key to room 211. Which I do believe you might have seen before. This is so nice. This is the view and the balcony. Should be the wrong key. Two on one. Oh, three on one. Just give me the wrong key. Uh, the right key. Do not know. I'm never noisy. Ta -da! Oh, perfect. You out the window. You can sit out there at night time. So the river and the blue lagoon and everything's down there. We did a cycle tour <coughs> on our own around those mountains last time, about a 20k circuit. Pan's place where we were going to stay, but they were fully booked. We had breakfast there, it was alright. Alright, I'm going to try a highly recommended coffee shop. So I'm in Van Vieng, part of the capital of Laos. Just chilling. I've been hiding in this coffee shop, Hostel Backpackers. Because it's one of the only places or coffee shops with air, air con. Loads of coffee shops, I haven't got any air con, they're boiling hot. So there's loads of international restaurants, Korean food, uh, any food you can think of. You can hire out these. There's like beach buggies you can hire out. I don't know where you'd go. Probably some off-road tracks. 
can rent bicycles, motorbikes. Um, it's got like cake shop. There's a really good cake shop down there that I've been to before. Um, most of the stuff to do is out in the valley over there. You can buy a map. Someone did a map on this place. You can buy the map that tells you where the waterfalls, the caves are. Loads of swimming spots too. Yeah, I'm planning to go for a run in a bit, but it's, it's, what time is it? I think it's coming up to five, it's still bloody boiling and hot, so I'm going to do that in a bit. Sun is, until about six like last night, absolutely roasting. You can see there's a million places to stay, but I'm in, I think it's Camphone Guesthouse, which is about three blocks and to the right. Um, it's a quite quiet hotel, 100,000 kip a night, so under a tenner a night. <laughs> Got a balcony with a table outside. It's where I stayed last time when I was here with my sister. I went for exactly the same room, nostalgia. But um, yeah, not but it's a beautiful place. You can't see it from here, but the, the Cass Mountains are absolutely stunning over there. Um, there's a herbal sauna up there that I went to last time which is really good it's £2.50 I think what I'm going to do is go for a run and then there's a gym there's one gym down by the river I'm going to go to the gym they've got a punch bag going off the pictures so I'm going to use that if I've got the energy and then I'm going to get something that I only normally I've only ever had here I think which is a peanut butter and banana smoothie get that just down there they sell it everywhere here it's quite famous so after I worked out, that'll be my reward. And then it'll be dinner time. Yeah, apparently, the Korean version of Geordie Shaw was filmed here. So now there's been an explosion in Korean tourists. I'm not that keen on Korean food. The gym's just down here on the left, I believe. Loads of new hotels since I was last here. And quite tall, so they're blocking out the view from other hotels. So three foreigner guys just rode past me wearing garish t-shirts and for sale on the win on the back. Must be the thing to do here, they ride around town when they arrive to sell their motorbikes. Oh, I got an email from my guest house in Bambiang where I'm going tomorrow. He said he'd give me $150 for the bike if I want a quick sale. Half of what I paid for it. I've had more than my money's worth out of it. I mean, just for example, a bus from here to Lam. No, to where I'm going tomorrow, the MTN. It's 50,000, it's like five quid. Um, and the plane of jars would have cost a fortune to get out there. About 15 quid to go there. So I've had more of my money. If I can get anything for it, I'll use that money to rent my bike in Thailand. Perfect. I think I rented my bicycle from there last time. I mean, hot air balloon up there. I don't think they were doing that last time. They've transformed this place because it used to be a place to come get drunk and tube down the river. Too many people died. So they, uh, they, they haven't stopped it completely, but they've toned it down and moved into other things. But <coughs> last time I came here, it was quite quiet. Not many tourists now it's absolutely booming again because it went it was booming and then it went into a nose dive and now it's booming again there's lots of these things buzzing about town that's a new hotel that wasn't there last time a lot of them have got swimming pools that's my hotel there the pink one so I've still got the view of the mountains, but a lot of them have kind of lost part of the view. Oh, it's Korean or Chinese guys hiring out these crazy things. I'll leave it to them. Oh, I thought I'd better just catch the sunset from my balcony. Oh, wow. It's just gone five. Absolutely wonderful place to stay this. Great value for money. Right, been for a quick run at the gym. We've got this thing 
it's not really good, but it's too soft. But I'll have a go. Some pull up bars upstairs if I'm going as well. Get sweating. <laughs> 15,000, so that's like £1.40 to use this. We've got more stuff upstairs. There's another punch bag upstairs, but they don't seem to be using it. Right, workout finished. I'm knackered. I'm absolutely knackered. So this is a beautiful restaurant. I'm going for um, it's Korean and Lao food. chicken and vegetables in there and have it with a spicy sauce because um, <clears throat> the Korean special one here was grilled pork belly and I don't really want sweet loads of fat pork so it's a beautiful place. Man this has to be one of the best deals in town it's only like 40,000, 39,000 like up on the main street plate of fried rice is just a bit under that all that chicken man, oh, it's just what I need, absolutely what I need, a nice peanut sauce on Get some help. Mm, that spicy sauce is delicious. So I found Prince Coffee, the Korean place is literally next to it. You go down a little corridor and you've got the Korean place, slash Lao place, at Lao barbecue, which is beautiful. And this place is, air. there's not many aircon places, but it's still stinking hot out there, so I've come here, it's nice. Bambiang has changed a lot. Amazon Cafe, it's from Thailand. Well, I've been down Walking Street over there. This looks, it says it's going to be another Walking Street. They're going to have two Walking Streets. Doesn't make sense. Hanoi Cafe, and there's a party hostel just back here on your left. I think it's Nan Hostel. We've got a swimming pool. They've got, they have basically blaring out all day, all day, it doesn't stop, from the morning to the night time, it's busy, loads of kids in there, but too old man, can't deal with that, <laughs> going to bed, it's 9 o'clock, got a long ride tomorrow. On the bikes, the motorbikes that were riding around trying to sell today, are those three parked in front of me, one guy is asking for $389, another guy $299 so they're basically trying to get the same money back that they paid for them the guy that paid nearly $400 paid too much but they'll probably get it they might get it <laughs> 